Hello, uh, this is a quick video on how to use the built-in scanner so you can scan directly into Easy2000+. Plus. So first of all, let's go to Setup and let's go to Security and click on the Admin and make sure that Set All is set just for this purposes because all the permissions are allowed now. In case you make a mistake scanning something incorrectly, you want to be able to delete it. You will not be able to delete it um, if you don't have all the permissions set. So let's start with that. Now, I'm going to go select the patient and I'm going to put myself in. I added myself. I just have my first and last name in here. And <clears throat> there's Mark Chambery. There's me. Now I'm going to go to the images on the left. I'm going to click on patient pictures. And all you need to do is what I do is I just take my driver's license, put it down on the face of the scanner. You have to figure out which way to do it with trial and error. And watch what I do. You click on this smiling face. And the second that I click it, after this is properly set up, and I'll go over how to set it up uh, in advance, <clears throat> it scans my driver's license. I did block out my personal information, just so you see. It puts it right over here, and then you just click OK. Now, I block this out. Now, I don't want all this to show under family because that doesn't look good. You see that? So I'm going to see that how small it looks. So I'm going to go back to images, go back to the picture, and now watch this nice tool. It's called the crop tool right over here. See? Crop tool. As soon as you click that, you can then click right over here and drag just the face to a square. Let go. Crop to the rectangle. OK. Now if you go to family, bingo. You got the patient's picture. It's as simple as that. Now, there is a file that you must have in order for this to work. The file sits in the directory <clears throat> under your Windows. So if you go to C and you go to Windows, regular Windows, and you go to the System32 folder, there must be a file in there <clears throat> that is called Easy Twain. I'll show it to you. Uh, let's find it. Hang on. Let's see if I can scroll up and find it. Easy Twain. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Let me sort it by name. Let me get down to the E's. A little tricky because there's a million things in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for my voice today. Okay, so EZ. Where is it? Here it is, easy twain 4dll It's got a date of today's date because I just downloaded this. Now, you should ask tech support to provide you with this file. You need to copy this file into the C Windows System 32. Once you do that, any scanner that you have attached, it will automatically capture. What's also nice is you can actually use digital x-rays directly into Easy 2000. If you wanted to, you could go to Images. And you can go and say Pano. Let's say you have a panoramic, digital panoramic x-ray machine. Or a regular FMX. And you could just click this for the scanner. Now, I don't have a scanner. So it's going to scan automatically to this, my regular scanner. <clears throat> but if you had no scanner attached and just the digital x-ray sensor, it will automatically interface with that. You can only have one scanning device. So usually people just use this for the regular you know, printer scanner where they can put an actual x-ray down and scan in the x-rays. And with digital x-rays, they usually use their own imaging software. Okay, this concludes the training. Thank you.